So how's, how's the off season been for you? Good. Um, been able to recharge the batteries uh, physically and most importantly mentally. Um, get away from the game for a little bit. Paint and go to a place where you can get a little bit more sun as well and enjoy just uh, some time with the family. So it's been good. Um, got a rower this off season, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Excited about that, a rower. Um, so yeah, good, ready to go. Steph, it's only been 52 days since that Alarm Excel game. Has it felt longer or shorter as it felt right at 52 to you? Um, I'd say it felt longer just because it is longer than what we're, we've been used to, it feels like. Um, and I don't even know if that is accurate or not in terms of the days, but just the mental drain. You know, if you, if you make it all the way to the, towards the end of, of the, playoffs and the finals, it's mentally extremely draining, you know. Uh, obviously something you want to do, but uh, when you go through that, then you're exhausted and it seems the off season which seems just so short, um, knowing that you pretty much have to uh, mentally get away from it for a little bit, but but get into your, your own free preseason uh, pretty quickly to be able to, to show up here ready when preseason does start. So, um, it definitely felt longer this time around. Um, I hope the guys took advantage of it. Now that you're here, what is the mood of the team? How does everything feel with the guys back? Uh, so far, so good. I feel like we we're obviously still missing quite a few players, uh, quite a few regular faces that are either not here yet uh, because they're with the national team or, or uh, I don't know, immigration or something, or well, whatever's going on. But um, other than that, just, just happy to you know, be around familiar faces again. Um, Kind of get get uh, get back on the horse and start a new journey with the, with the squad we have this year. So excited! What are your thoughts on the addition of Albert? Uh, decent, yeah, not bad. No, it's uh, excited. Uh, player you hate to play against and love to have in your own squad. So uh, really good addition. I think he'll uh, he'll fit in really well. And um, no offense to any other teams, but I think uh, with the players that So Joe Paulo, Raul up top, Nico running around, uh, Christian, uh, you know, and, and the rest of the squad. It's going to be very difficult to, to keep tabs on every player. We have a lot of skill on, on the field if we can, if we're able to just stay healthy and put uh, all these weapons onto the field. So um, yeah. I think it'd be good for the squad, but also for him personally. It's going to be, you know, you guys are used to dealing with expectations, but now with the signing and with almost everybody back here, I mean, they're going to be kind of through the roof. How, how do you handle it? That this year is it the same old same old with you guys in terms of that? Ah, the standards always been high, uh, and, and uh, with that comes pressure. You know, I think uh, for the guys that have been here for a while, our job is to to make the younger guys or the additions feel that pressure a little bit and uh, make them understand that uh, uh, although it's nice to go to uh, um, finals and have opportunities to win finals and win trophies. Uh, it doesn't doesn't come easy. There's a sacrifice involved. There's pressure involved, uh, but we need to welcome uh, that pressure and that, that situation. So um, I'm confident that we're, we're capable of doing it. I think we have uh, a lot of really good players that are obviously with the World Cup uh, uh, looming uh, are also eyeing that one. So it'll be a challenge to make sure that um, we find a balance there. You know, guys are pushing to make their national team squads right now, um, and you know, essentially uh, eliminating their off season. So uh, I know they're smart, they're hungry, so we'll have to find a balance there. Though. Steph? You went a, uh, there's obviously a pandemic, all the pandemic happening. You went through an injury last year, obviously a very difficult year. Uh, you know, how, how did that factor into your preparation during this off season? And what are some of the goals that you have? Speaking of uh, big expectations, um, this time around with CCL, you guys seem more prepared, more of a full team. Um, what are your uh, expectations and confidence going into that international tournament? Again, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about a team on paper. We're, we're still, we're still pretty. Uh, I mean, the time is, is, is quite short. You know, just because we have additions now doesn't mean that oh, we can just step up and it makes it easier to perform at the level that we could potentially perform at. Um, so. Again, I, I think we need to focus on trying to get up to speed as quickly as we can because there is there is a limited, precious amount of time to get ready for these big games. Um, again, though, we do have we do have the skill, which makes it exciting um, to be able to 
reach into depth as well a little bit when we need to, when we have, you know, I don't know what the Open Cup situation is this year, but Open Cup, Conquer Cup, League play, other stuff that potentially happens. Um, it's exciting, but yeah, a, a lot of work ahead. We're, we're literally on day one of, of gelling, of getting these pieces to, uh, to fit in and uh, getting men mentalities uh, ingrained in new additions as well. You've been through a lot of off-seasons uh, in MLS.